Okay, so <clears throat> I have crawled out of the mountains, wrestling bears, to tell you about this. <laughs> so the Nothing phone uh, still doesn't read NFC tags um, by itself after the firmware update. Uh, but what's that? So this is a project that has come from the Dangerous Things forum. Uh, it's been a long time coming. And uh, basically, it is a concentrator. So it takes the magnetic flux um, from the NFC coil that exists, and it uh, absorbs that and re-emits um, its own field. And in it, it's in a much tighter configuration. And so what you get is basically, uh, over this, you get a decent read range. So I've got tag info, and I wanted to show because there's an OS update, and I wanted to test. So um you know i can get i can get you know that expected range over the concentrator repeater sticker as we're, we're going to call them so these are in development to be adhesive stickers that you can stick on things uh, but that's a full size you know fr4 pcb um but you can see you're getting you know you're getting the centimeter range that uh, that you're used to without it um, prior to the firmware update. Now, if I removed that or moved its position, um, it would not work. I would I would still get the terrible read range. And so the positioning of this is important um, that it be crossing over um, the lines of flux from from the primary coil, the reader's antenna coil, and so um, then that will re-emit in that small area. Um, so positioning is very important, and we're going to have kind of a tutorial on how to use that when the product actually comes out. But um, I wanted to run the uh, update and see what we get. Um, so first, I'm going to go to About Phone, Nothing OS, and we have the system update. It doesn't say anything about NFC, but we're going to we're going to go ahead and try it. Actually, before that, I just want to confirm again. I'm going to take this case off and without this device I'm going to try to get read range even in the same position um, oh it reads it reads if I make contact I think yeah so you know we're not getting the read range we're not getting the read range we're not getting the read range if I actually physically make contact with the phone then I get read in that position. Um, but you can see it's much, much worse performance. Like, like <laughs> that's that's where we're at. If I just touch it, it reads. Um, so anyway, so that's, that's confirmed. So I'm going to go ahead and do the system update here. It's downloading. It's a small one, so I'm hoping it's not going to take too long. And we'll just fast forward this part. Okay, here we are. Uh, we are updated to Android or um, Nothing OS 2.5.2, and let me just confirm that here. I'm gonna go to settings, about phone. Nope. Oh, so Nothing OS 2.5.3. Uh, just make sure there's no other updates available. Nope. And so now. We're going to use tag info, and again, we're going to scan the same tag here and just see. There we go. And it's not getting the centimeter that I'm hope I was hoping for. Um, I'm touching the phone now, and oh boy. Okay. Ooh, it's getting reads, but man. Yeah, it's still contact. So uh, now let's put the device back on the phone, the repeater concentrator sticker device, and I'm going to have to put my case on to hold it in place. Take some fiddling, but again, this will be, this will have an adhesive backing when we're ready to provide it as a product. And um, yes, it will improve performance of uh, phones and readers that that otherwise have no serious issues with performance, but it should improve things. Uh, it does two things. One, it creates, um, you know, a, 
a repeater uh, field around the around the device, but also it kind of performs another function, which is just uh, creating a target, right? So I can just create a target to put my implant or whatever right there uh, visually, and it's just a, a nice, easy to use thing. So now we've got the, uh, the reader up and our device, repeater device, and we'll go for, yeah, we're back to a, a centimeter over top. If I could just get this in such a way that you could see it. So there, a good centimeter away again, thank goodness, uh, but no improvement on the OS um, update. And so, you know, so why, why is this happening? And uh, I had some conversations uh, with friends at Google and uh, they informed me that Nothing OS is apparently totally ripping out the NFC stack uh, from from Android uh, and and doing it themselves. And so we kind of you know talked internally about well what could be the issue. And so you know if you look at I believe the reader chip in this is an NFC uh, chip from NXP. So you know it's Broadcom, Qualcomm, NXP. They all make um, chipsets for reading NFC. And we're pretty sure it's from from NXP. Um, I think that's almost confirmed because we can read MyFair um, Classic Crypto One memory blocks and and things with it, which is again it's under license, so you need um, you know you need the uh, the NXP licenses built into the chip to do that. So, uh, but anyway, NXP has an interesting document. I'm going to pull that up here. So this is an application note uh, from NXP. And sometimes you can get access to these things uh, just publicly. Sometimes you need an NDA. Uh, but effectively, what this is talking about is um, how you provide what are called configuration files for, for NFC. And I think what's going on here is that um, at some point, you know, during the OS upgrades or something, the configuration file tells um, the hardware you basically sets up a driver uh, for the NFC reader, but also defines a lot of things like the antenna di uh, dynamics, um, polling rate, power output, like all that kind of stuff. And I think at some point that configuration file got um, messed up or otherwise it's not set up with the correct or, or the, the, you know, most appropriate settings. And so, you know, we can step into this document that t talks all about how, you know, this is uh, integration. And then I'm not sure that the uh, PN7160 is the reader in in the Nothing Phone too, but this is the idea is that effectively, you know, it tells you how to set up the driver and how to do all this stuff. But the thing that uh, is concerning me the most is, Building the driver, here we go. So adaptation, so adapting it for Android open source project. Um, and you'll see there's a lot of patching and whatnot, um, but here we go, configuration files. So you need to adapt these files that are um, located in this download with uh, all of the important stuff like system clock um, and all of this kind of stuff. And and these are the critical settings to, to maximize performance of the NFC um, chip, so it, it, it's going to talk about um, antenna, uh, you know, design and characteristics and all of that kind of stuff. And if you get these wrong, it it really really affects, you know, the performance of of NFC in the in the hardware. So my hunch is that <laughs> uh, that basically somebody somewhere messed up some of these settings. Uh, and it's not being applied properly for this particular set of hardware in the Nothing Phone 2. Um, maybe, you know, I, I don't know, a speculation, but that's that's what, at least to me, seems like the most likely, uh, the likely problem as to why it would just suddenly stop working well uh, when you're doing firmware updates um, or OS updates. But, um, but a lot of these things, you know, uh, these are right here available um, in GitHub. And you know you can go through and find your chip and and dig into that. Um, look at your different uh, firmware releases and things. So anyway, that's really you know if I was to give any kind of advice or anything, it was like somebody somewhere at nothing uh, company just take a look at those configuration files and make sure that uh, those settings haven't been borked. Um, because yeah, I just loaded the latest update and it is still pretty terrible. But the good news is the 
the repeater stickers, they're, they're under um, design review now, and uh, they'll be coming out soon, and you'll be able to apply them to your dysfunctional nothing phone. In fact, I, I was having some, some um, you know, contactless Google Wallet payment issues with it as well um, prior to putting this device in the back of my phone. And that's also a, a problem that many other nothing phone to um, users were reporting after the latest firmware updates is having issues with with contactless payment. So I don't know if that'll help solve that problem or not for for people, but but at least for people with implants, um, this thing has been great. It's you know even if I put it on my on my phones that I don't really have a problem with, uh, I get much better performance out of those as well. But also again that targeting uh, capability, I know right exactly where to put it because the thing is right there on the back of my phone, and it just really helps lining things up every time. So. Um, keep an eye out for those. Keep an eye on the socials and the announcements. Um, we'll be we'll be talking about those once they are available.